This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are halfway into January on the 19th and we are talking about head lice this morning. Are you suffering from that kind of itch? 083-913-3728. We want you to give us a call this morning. Our expert is in studio. In fact, Sharice has been answering some questions for me while we're not live on the show. But uh, we've got a lot of questions around this. That number again, 083-913-3728. Sharice Fatman in our studio. We've learned now that lice is common. It's not something to be ashamed of if our kid does come home from school with lice or their signs of it what's the best way to treat it okay so so as we know lice have have evolved and they're known as now superbug and they have built up a resistance to most of the over-counter products um, so the best way to prevent lice is to make sure that your child before he or she goes to school that their hair is put back in a bun or a plait um, no flyaway pieces, so no loose pieces left out. They should preferably be clipped back or sprayed with a preventative spray. Um, so lice, lice do not hop, jump or fly. Um, they've got six legs with, with claws at the end of each leg. Oh. So they grasp onto any loose hair that's flying away. So the most important thing is to clip hair back. What um, other ways, do, I mean now, now you find that they're there, do, what do I do? Okay. Where do I go? So the, the best thing to do is, the most important preventative measure, I'd say, is to, to comb your child's hair knowing that there's a lice infestation at school. So to, to comb your child's hair once a week with either a lice treatment um, or a, a white-based conditioner, um, to comb your child's hair, do a quick comb through um, once a week, so you, you're not getting to a point where you're doing a comb out only when your child's got lice mm -hmm. and then it's out of control. Mm. So I think a, a great preventative measure is to comb your child's hair once a week when lice is rough. New studies have shown an increasing number of drug-resistant head lice. You called it a superbugger earlier. M medicinal treatment sometimes doesn't help. No. What to do? I mean, if the things that you do over the counter doesn't help, how do you get help to prevent a head lice infestation? So it's all about, it, it definitely, you know, the product definitely does play a role, an mm. important role in, in, in getting rid of the lice. But the most important thing is the comb you use and how you comb the hair. What kind of comb do I use? So, so I'll bring in a, can I show you the yeah, comb? Yeah, sure. I bring in a, um, a, a brilliant, I'd, I'd honestly, honestly say that So just hold it still for me, yeah? Probably the, the best lice comb on our market. And um, with that you comb through all the hair, correct. strand by strand? Well, what you do is you actually separate the hair. So it's all in the combing method and how you comb the hair right. and how you separate the hair. So a lot of moms will just take the lice comb and comb back into a ponytail and comb the whole mm -hmm. without separating and that's obviously not going no, to No, because then the lice is in the pony. Correct. So okay. you do need to separate, separate the, the hair. Separate the hair. Okay, and then you comb through. Help us understand lice a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to read out some, some facts. Uh, our producers put this together. Um, and, and you have to tell me whether they're true or false. You're more mm -hmm. likely to get lice if you're dirty. So hygiene. Absolutely false. Okay. Um, that is, is really not true. And there's such a stigma attached to, to that because... Okay. Um, you know, people think that you, you're dirty or, or unhygienic. There's more interesting facts here, true or false, that we want to read out. Also, some of your calls, 0839133728. We're talking about head lice this morning. How to get rid of it, how to prevent it, and what to do if you have it. Graham, what's coming up next?